Okay, folks, um, someone asked how we use the OneNotes in a classroom and what we provide the teachers with in terms of instruction. And the interesting thing is we don't offer a lot because, um, first of all, the OneNotes are already set up for everyone. And OneNote is pretty intuitive. But I thought I'd go through, and I'm actually away for a class tomorrow, and I'd go through how I use my OneNote in preparation for my uh, day away. So you see on the right-hand side of the screen, I've got all my notebooks. And these are my three class sections of grade 10. And so I'm in my grade 10 section two notebook. And the first page is our homework page and it lists all the homework that we have each day. And so I'm just gonna put in, that we're gonna finish off the tangent ratio. And our homework is gonna be day three. All questions, including the graph. And uh, then that will be about it. And I always highlight the homework uh, just to make sure that they see it when they go through. And the parents can go to this page and see what's expected each day. Now some teachers arrange it differently. Um, some people don't do the day format. I find it's easy because all my units are broken down by the number of days. So I'm going to go into my teacher notebook and across the top I've got all my units and we're in unit 5 right now which is trigonometry. And here's my private section. It's uh, not visible to the students all the other sections are, the private section means I can sit and plan and work on stuff and the students can't see any of it. So this is going to be day three uh, and it's going to be tan problems. And I'm just going to go to our textbook and we're fortunate our textbook is in PDF format and so I'm just going to clip one of the questions I want them to do out and because we're going to the Winter Olympics I thought I'd get the hockey problem and paste it in and so then he they've got that question to work on and sometimes you know they don't always uh, get things immediately so there is a YouTube video on solving the three different about ways solving of, right triangles uh, solving writing of triangles with uh, using the tangent ratio using the opposite side and then finding the angle and then using the uh, tan ratio to find the adjacent side so I'm just going to clip that in and paste it here, so helpful video. And now it shows the whole YouTube thing, so I can actually edit that link so that it uh, looks better. And so instead of actually seeing all the thing, text to display, I can go YouTube video, on tan ratio. And so that's in there for them. And I'll add in a whole bunch of other questions. Uh, if I add another one right now, so let's add uh, question 22, which adds on to question 21. Now I'm actually going to just take A out and show you the nice feature about OneNote for mathematics. I suppose any subject, but mathematics in particular. I'm going to then add B and put it in. And you notice that I've put them all sort of one right after the other. What's really nice is when you're working on a math problem and you uh, run out of room, is insert space and it allows me to drag things apart. So if I need more space to work on a math problem, I can just go to the draw or the insert menu, pick up insert space and drag things apart. Then I have more room to write. And it works the other way too, that if I left too much space and you want to snug things up, you can snug things up as well. So that gives them room to wor work, uh, work things out. Okay, so I've given them that. I've given them uh, a link to a YouTube video. Uh, I always clip the answers out of the textbooks that they're, they are there. And so if I go down, there's 21. And so again, I just clip the answer out. And so they have the answer. And I'm going to paste that in. And, and traditionally, I put it at the bottom. And so they know to look down there. And so there's the answer to that question. I will end up adding more questions uh, after I'm done here. but. Uh, I wanted to make sure that you saw how I put that all together. Now, it's in my private section right now, so before tomorrow morning, I'm going to drag it into my published section, and so now it's visible to the students, so they can now go in there. Now, they can see this here, but they can't touch it, so they're going to have to drag it into their section, and so uh, there's Miss Branch. So Miss Branch, Branch will go to my section, take it, control C for copy, and then head over to her section, and then paste it into her unit 5, which is here, 
and she can paste that and now she has a copy of, uh, of the problems for today and now she can write on it and work on it and of course I can see it her parents can see it and everyone's happy I need to delete that before she gets confused and wonder why um, that is in there um, they'll also likely have a group project so while I'm away on day three always try to write a summative question for a, a chapter and we try to do that a little bit in groups to start off with and then we end up the unit where they write their own summative question so within OneNote they have all of their own individual uh, sections where the student uh, only sees their own content and no student can see any other content but we also have a group section so there's team B and Team B's group will be able to write in here and only Team B can see this um, and uh, they can work on it together, they can synchronize uh, notes together and then of course when they're done they can copy it into their own private section and be assessed. And so that's how uh, we use the groups. So I think I've got it all done and, and then an summative question. And what is nice is that with a group assignment, I can highlight something and copy the link to it. And then when I come over here, I can actually paste that link and link to it right in my notebook. So there's no searching for it. So now you'll notice that we did the tangent ratio spreadsheet. When they click on that, they go directly to the spreadsheet. And now when they click on the group summative question, they go directly to the group summative question. Uh, because it's day three, I will make it a subpage, and so that gives us a bit of organization to the uh, to the notes. There's their main page, and then there's any subpage below that. Um, we might also add a little video ourselves. So under the uh, insert, I can actually record a video, and I'll do that right now. It's going to activate the web camera that's built. Hi folks, I'm away in chapel today, so you've got some problems on the tan ratio. I clipped in a small link to a YouTube video. You're more than welcome to use YouTube to search for things that you find that might be better for you. Um, remember to use a tan table to uh, uh, assess, uh, sorry, <laughs> remember to use a tan table to uh, determine the tan ratio values. And uh, there's a group assignment to prepare for your summative. Okay, thanks very much. And that gets embedded within the spreadsheet, so within the OneNote, and the students can play it uh, whenever they would like. Obviously, that was more of an introduction than anything mathematically important. So that's really how part of how we use OneNote. It gets a little bit more complicated. We can embed more things and link to more things. But uh, roughly speaking, that's our day-to-day -day use. Okay, thanks very much. Let me know if you have any questions.